and um, I, I came into Friends with it, which is not very well known. I had a Master of Fine Arts in acting coming in. So the whole mythology about, oh, he was working in a real coffee shop and got plucked out of obscurity to be a part of this amazing huge show. Um, there is a bit of truth in there that I did actually work in a coffee shop. I knew how to operate a cappuccino machine, so when I went in, they put me behind the cappuccino machine, behind the bar. So I was coffee guy for a full season and a half before I had a character name. I had no idea that they would keep me for 10 years, much less develop that obsession that Gunther had with Rachel. And uh, I'm just really happy that they kept me on. I think that I looked natural back there, at least with my miming, making espresso and cappuccino. I never made an actual espresso or cappuccino during the entire run of Friends. I was miming every bit of that because you know, espresso machines are really loud, especially when you start with the steamer and stuff, and the sound guys hated it. So we never, ever, op it was inoperable. Um, but I did have the experience. Oh, everybody has a little Gunther moment every day. You know, if you get stuck on the tube too long, you know, you're going to exit that with some Gunther. Um, if you've had a really, really poor night's sleep and you have to work 12 hours the next day, you're going to be a little bit Gunther, right? I think it should be a verb. I'm feeling very Gunther today. Um, but no, I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of channeled that deadpan look because Gunther came across as a bit emotionless. Um, I have a lot of emotion, actually, so it was kind of a... I had to develop the ability to just look straight out of character or into the camera and just go... and just give you nothing. You know, so it was like a blank slate, like a wall. You're talking to a wall until Gunther replies and is really sarcastic and snarky. I remember the first um, episode I worked on as an extra. It was not on the pilot, but the very first episode, the first season. I walked onto the set and I see these people like just joking around and talking and hugging and laughing, and uh, they acted like they'd known each other since they were children. And they had that chemistry from the very first and then I read the script and I was like this is really brilliant and they're capturing these characters perfectly of course they did develop their characters realistically over a 10-year period of time so you could see the evolution and the de-evolution in some instances of the characters and their their story arcs but basically they were just they had chemistry it's lightning in a bottle that's the way I've always described it